Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and for my existing subscribers, welcome back to another video. It actually feels so strange um, saying these words again. I haven't said it since like December. So yeah, it's been a while. So I'm just gonna talk you through why I haven't been on YouTube or Instagram or to be honest, anywhere at all. And just give you guys like a live update video and catch you guys up on everything that has been happening so yeah i've missed you guys so much yeah let's get right into chatting get comfortable have a glass of wine have a cup of juice whatever it is that you prefer because we're going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me so yeah i'll see you guys in the video bye i have a few notes on my phone so if you see me looking through just know that i'm just checking because it's been a minute and I'm not as conversant with you know staying in front of the camera as I used to be so before we start what I'm going to be doing is just applying this lip oil from glow for it and I've been using this for a while now I've been working with the brand and trying all their products and I really really like this lip oil so to moisturize my face my lips I'm going to be using that today and I have tried a new I experimented a new face routine foundation routine and how I do my makeup okay I just want to switch it back to what I used to do and I'm going to be trying out my new foundation routine for you guys today if you do have any questions feel free to leave it in the description box so what I would like to start with, my skin is already prepped. I do look a little bit oily, but I'm actually not oily. It's just because I'm glowing. <laughs> yeah, and the light is like directly hitting my face. So I think that's what is contributing to this, but I'm not, I'm not mad at it. So yeah, let's get started. So before I get started, I'll just start prepping my face and start with the obvious one, why I left YouTube. So I left YouTube because of a number of reasons, to be honest. One being my job. As you guys know, I work as a nutritionist. I'm into health care. So I've been doing this for, I think, five months now. I think five, four, five months. And it has been great, lovely, very, very busy. That's the way healthcare is, to be honest, in the UK. Like, literally sucks you dry and I've been pretty much busy with that. The fact that I don't have a mirror, I'm using my laptop as a mirror and I don't think that is good. But so yeah, I've been super busy with that. I don't have a structure. I have a structure-ish with my job, but it's not like a regular nine to five. So that's quite difficult for me. So like I can work late nights, um, late morning sometimes i work like a regular morning or as early as eight so that has been tedious so i'm applying primer next so coming into this year what i said i was going to do for myself differently was that i was going to focus on my job because i was trying to you know get settled into my new city and also get settled into my new job basically learn what the job is all about because i've never really worked as a full-time nutritionist before even in nigeria and this was like my first time so i just wanted to give the job my all and make sure that i was giving my 100 percent so i did do that last year but i wanted to give it like a whole like new level of commitment this year and i knew i couldn't do that alongside also creating content and that was why I was like, okay, Thomasin, you just have to give your job the attention that it needs, which means like reading more, studying more, just being in tune and making sure my mind is was like 100 here. Because the thing about me is that I love, obviously, creating content a lot. And once I get into creating content, I don't have time for any other thing. That's why I decided to like take this one. And just like keep it to the side and focus completely on my job so I just applied primer and I'm letting it dry so as I was saying my aim was to know my stuff like fingertips because I saw my colleagues and I saw how well they knew um, most things about nutrition and I also had to catch up yes I did my master's in obesity and weight management 
However, the nutrition and dietetics in Nigeria is so different to here. In this place, they teach you so that you know it in your brain. But in Nigeria, it's more so just reading to pass your exam and there was no practical to it. So I was like, damn, I had to know my stuff. So that was why I focused my like that's why I focused on this year and that was why one of the reasons why I decided to like give creating content a poll. Oh my brows are so it's burning because I just shaved them today. So like it's really burning. Yeah. So now I'm done with priming and stuff. So what I'm going to do next is I can't remember when last I did my makeup. Okay, I did it in February. What do I want to do next? Yeah, I'm going to lay down my brows. Let me get my brow gel. So I think I'm going to do my eyes first. Normally I used to do my foundation first, but this is a new routine I'm talking about. So I'm going to be doing my eyes first. So what I'm going to do is apply concealer that is almost like my skin tone, just to prep my eyes. Cause I have like dark eyes and that's the way I was born naturally. And this is just going to help me even out my skin tone in my eyes before I go ahead to apply my eye primer. Yeah, so like as I was saying, that's the um, first part. So basically, my job. So now let's move on to one of the core reasons why I actually did leave. So one of the core reasons why I did leave too as well was because I was questioning if content creation was really for me. I'm in a good place now with that, but I'm more towards the beginning of the year it was not funny at all i was like god is this really what you want me to do is this your plan for me because i was really not seeing any sort of growth anymore my growth has been very 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 slow um in content creation i've been doing makeup for how many years now quite a long time like 2015 However, I've been doing content creation since 2019, 2018, 2019, and I've invested so much in this, my time, my money. I remember when I just finished NYSC and that was when I really decided to take it serious, start my YouTube channel and everything. And I was like, God, like, I just knew in my heart that this is what God wanted me to do because it just came to me naturally i know I, I don't know how to do a number of things when it comes to like being creative and talent and stuff like that but this one was just this one i didn't have to learn i just knew it if that makes sense so yeah i was like god i've done so much i got a new phone then making sure like my camera was lit i also got like lights you know just with my small allowing money i made sure like i put everything into it everything was like me 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 no support or anything so yeah and i started thinking i was just like reflecting from towards like december last year and i was like uh -uh, abba father when are you going to like uplift me i'm in a better place now but this was me thinking then like when are you going to uplift me when am i going to feel like the effort time resources that I'm putting into this creating of content. When is it going to bear fruit? Because I felt like I was not bearing any fruit. I was just stuck. I was also looking at my Instagram page. I was like, God, I'm, I've been on 3K for four years, 2019, 2019, no, 2023, 2019, 2022, 2022, yeah, for four years, I've been on 3K. I know comparison is a thief of joy, but sometimes when you're in that space you start to compare so i was like comparing to my mates that we all started together some that even started before and they're on 10k 20k and i'm like what am i like what am i doing differently looking at my content from before and looking at it now i'm going to show you guys like comparison on the um, on the screen so that you guys can understand what i'm saying like i've grown guys like i have grown the way I edit, how I create content is different. Like you can tell, it's not as if I just sat on my ass doing nothing and expected result. Like I actually did put in the work. I was always consistent. I never stopped. I was grinding and grinding and grinding, but there was nothing to show for it. So I just kept on questioning. Like, I mean, 
I'm an adult now. Yes, I do have like a steady source of income. However, this is something that I would, everybody wants their passion to be something they rely on, like full time. Cause I like, it makes me, content makes me so happy. My parents will see me, they'll come back from work. I'm still downstairs creating content. No, I don't even do the kind of looks I used to do before. If I used to do cut crease, it's colorful, colorful, take my time. I'll do like three looks in one day. The next day I'm back again, like, bro it was wild it was wild so yeah I was like i actually did put in the work like god what is wrong what is happening you see that let me choose this path myself so i just took time to like chill i cried i remember crying like breaking down to one of my friends last year this time it was actually april april 2022 i broke down to one of my friends and i was Bowling. I think somebody hit a certain milestone. I was so happy for the person, but that day just I just started bowling. I was like, I was crying this kind of. <laughs> Do you understand? Because this is my passion. So I was like, what have I done wrong? What is happening? Why am I not growing? I'm still on 3K. I've never had a viral moment. All I've had to do is like work hard and push and push and push. Like I need God to like uplift me. I need God to push for me. I'm tired. That's why I kept saying to the person. The person was like, everybody's time is different. You have to understand that. At that point, they will always tell you what you want it, like what you're supposed to know, if that makes sense. But in that moment, you're like, I beg, I beg, I beg. All these things, I don't hear them before. Like, I've heard it so many times. I'm doing my eyeshadow now. I'm just bringing guys a bit closer. So yeah, I was like, all these things, I've, I've heard it. Like, yes, yes, yes. Everybody's time is different, but when will my own time come? That's what I said to the person. But yeah, like, there's one quote that reassured me. He who laughs last, laughs best. So yeah, I was like, the day, God's the day God decides to, you know, show me his mercy, I'll be very, very happy. And another thing told me, what if he actually never blew up or succeed in this thing would you be okay with it hmm i was like hmm what is this thing is actually not meant for me so I, yeah i did come to peace with that that if this is the path that god doesn't want me to follow and he wants me to do something else then i have to be totally fine with it i was discussing with my friend Anike that i've contemplated giving up and just you know closing down all my social media channel chat channels that's why I told her that oh, if you don't see me again, don't say I don't I don't run on. I know they do this thing again. That's what I was telling her. So yeah. I feel like I'm going to give myself an a time period and if it's not working, I might just move on from it. And if I'm ever posting, it's just because I want to keep memories for myself and not really treat it as a job anymore. So yeah, that's where I was with content creation and all sorts. I just felt like I've had to work so hard and like work for every subscriber every follower every post like there was no i needed a push did you get i needed a push so i was just tired and i was really not feeling content anymore like it wasn't something i loved doing anymore because the pressure was like too much so that's one of the reasons why i stopped because i would post a video and I'm like, ah, see so the amount of views, sleepless night, coupled with the fact that I was also working, because I'll be, sometimes I'll be in the bus, or let's say when I'm going to work, and then I'm editing videos, or I'm just doing something a bit extra, instead of me using my time to rest when I come back from work, I'm editing videos just to make sure that I get videos, and managing Instagram and YouTube when you're working full time, hmm you want to know so yeah i was just tired but now i'm in a good space in a better space um you know back again to my grind and i'm doing i'm gonna do things a little bit differently this year and just give myself a time frame if it's not working then it's not working and just focus on other things and other sources of income maybe it's actually time to move on so that's where that's where i am now and that's what i've concluded so let me just talk you guys through 
what I'm doing for my eyes today. I want to do something a little bit cute. So I'm done with my eyes pretty much. I'm just going to apply this Too Faced Mascara. I love my lashes so much. I'm going to bring out a video very soon just telling you guys how I've been able to grow my lashes. And that will be on Instagram. So watch out for that video. But my lashes are blossoming. Like they are so long. That's like my real lash guys. I'm so happy about that. Anyway, once I'm done with the eyes, once I move to the base, we would continue. Because doing my eyes can be a bit tricky. And I don't want to talk, I'll be doing that, so yeah. Okay, so next thing I want to talk about is gymming more. So I've been going to the gym a lot more recently. You're going to see that in the vlog that I'll be posting. Shit, my mascara just fell down. <laughs> You're going to see that in the vlog that I'll be posting subsequently after this video. So yeah, I've been dreaming a lot more. And the reason why I'm doing that is not even because I want to lose weight or anything. Yes, losing weight would be like a plus. But also, I'm in my mid-twenties now. So it's very important that I take care of my health and exercise. Obviously, I'm a nutritionist, so diet is on key there. But exercise is something that I want to take very, very seriously this year because people don't understand that it has numerous benefits. You didn't want to know. <laughs> Your heart health, number one. Sorry, I'm going all science on you. But it helps with your heart health. Also helps with your metabolism. Even your respiratory health too as well. So yeah, I have been exercising more. Getting my bones stronger. Just feeling stronger. However, I would say I'm a very strong person. You don't want to get a slap from me. <laughs> I'm just joking. Please, no violence. But yeah, I'm actually a very strong person. I think it's genetics contributing to the fact that, you know, my parents made me carry heavy things from when I was young, I would carry pepper, like a bucket of pepper, you know, from a very long distance. Even my mom too would do that too as well. So I've built my strength like over the years. But now like I'm a lot more, I'm a lot more stronger. I can lift someone who is about 90 kg and that's mad. <laughs> And then I also want to work on building muscles in certain areas of my body, like my glutes, my thighs. Yeah, so that's another reason to basically just toning my body in general. That's one of the reasons why I've also been exercising as well. And bro, like I'm gonna be popping children very soon. So I need to be as strong as possible when that time like comes very very soon <laughs> so yeah that's another reason why so it's basically like a preventive measure so to speak and also it helps with when it's time to take in you'll be able to take in a lot more easier like by god's grace too as well yeah so that's like one of the reasons why i've been taking exercise and seriously i've never actually exercised this much much in a very long time i think the last time i was so consistent was like 2020 that was when I was going through losing weight. Actually, I should actually do a video on this very soon. I used to be very, very, very big, huge, and I've lost like a lot of that weight. I'll talk about that in another video entirely, like my weight loss journey. But it's actually been a while now, but I also talk about it anyway. So yeah, like also maintaining my weight and all that so that's one of the reasons why i've been going to the gym so i've been a lot more consistent and also to like build that discipline because once you start having children 
and you're very busy it's hard for you to get into that habit of you know going to the gym exercising but if you if i'm starting to make it a habit now it would be a lot more easier to transition into that phase so that's why i'm doing all of this now so when it comes to that time i know okay this is what i have to do boom 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 i've already built that you know i've already built that exercise i've already built that habit that regime and even with my children i'll still be able to exercise so that's why i'm doing it now and also trying not to be lazy as well so yeah I've been gymming more. You're gonna say that in my new vlog. So I'm using the OG NAS foundation as my foundation today. Yep, yeah, so I'm going to use this brush just to apply the foundation. So you can see that I use like my contour shade first just to contour my face. So that makes it a lot more easier for me. And also just to make the foundation blend. I don't know if I've gotten darker or fairer, but I think I'm looking a bit dark now, but that's fine. It's because I put too much contour. I really don't like talking and doing my makeup, but I want to learn new things. <laughs> so yeah, um, let me also talk you guys through some other things as well. So another thing that I also wanted to talk to you guys about is graduation planning so I am going to graduate very soon and I really can't wait to put you guys on on that journey because you saw me like come to the UK settle down and all of that so yeah I've been planning my graduation I still don't know what dress to wear still don't know what dress to wear guys I don't know if I want to wear a dress or I want to wear like what's it called pants and a suit the last time i wore a suit and pants a suit and skirt is when i was doing my project the first and since that time i've not worn a suit i'll insert the picture so you guys can see what i look like <laughs> i don't know if i want to wear that i might just wear like a white gown i'm really not sure yet honestly i'm not doing much for my graduation just i'm not doing any dinner party i don't think i'm that kind of person i've just come to accept it because I grew up not doing all of this. My mom never threw like a party for me, except when I was like one. So I've, I've not been that kind of, I'm not that kind of family to be honest. So I'm just gonna go for the graduation, attend, and come back home to my house. My friend is supposed to be here with me that weekend. So I might just go for dinner that evening if I'm not too tired or like celebrate the next day. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. When I finally find my dress, obviously you guys will see it in the vlog. I'm gearing towards white or or red. Yeah, white or red. So we'll see about that anyway. <laughs> I saw a dress, but it was about 80 pounds. Do I want to spend... The dress was so nice. Do I want to spend 80 pounds on a dress? I can show you guys on the screen. I don't know if I want to spend that much on that kind. But the dress is that I can be able to wear the dress for a dinner, like other occasions and stuff like that. I might even wear it for my birthday shoot. Mm, yeah, that's nice. Do I want to wear it for my birthday shoot now? So yeah, the dress is nice, but it's 80 pounds. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, so let me just talk you guys through the remainder of my makeup. So yeah, I'm just done updating you guys however i'll just round up in the next um, couple of minutes so let me just conceal under my eyes finish my makeup i want to tell you guys what i do now for concealing i do not like what's it called bright under eyes absolutely phenomenal but aside from that i don't think bright under eyes is flattering on dark skin like someone as chocolate as me so what i like to do is i like to build up my concealer so what i do is i've mixed my concealer with my foundation apply that first so it's not so bright it's just like a base layer basically this is what it's doing is like concealing in real context concealing my eye bags because i got a lot of that 
I haven't been sleeping well enough. I don't sleep in the afternoon anymore. So yeah, I got a lot of eye bags. So what I'm gonna do is use my shade. Basically looks like this. So my shade and the concealer mix it together and then conceal. So I like to go in with this as the first step and then also use that to bring my face and lift my face. So if you lift your face with a concealer that is too bright, it's just going to look too harsh. So I found that using this method is a lot more better or is a lot better than using a way way bright concealer so this is just gonna help you build that coverage and i feel like it's more flattering on dark skin tone because there's no flashback and you still sort of look like yourself and then i'm also able to use that same shade on my chin you can see it's just like you're supposed to highlight two or three shades lighter i don't know everyone like has their style but this is like my own I like skin on skin like I still want to look like myself I still want everything to look like me if that makes sense yeah so also going to bring it down to this place So hey guys, I'm done with the makeup and this is the final result. I just went ahead to put on my wig. This is a long wig, slick and just really simple. So this is my current foundation routine, glam routine. I like it because it just makes me still look like myself. Like I said, I really don't like under eyes that are too bright. So yeah, I just like the way this looks. I really hope you guys enjoy the live update video so just telling you guys why i took a break and telling you guys that i'm back now however i'm going to be back a little differently this time and i'm also going to be trying a couple of things on my channel just to see how it goes if i'm able to do that if i'm able if i'm able to do that good and fine and if i'm not good and fine as well so just to round up the video I want you guys to be able to stick with me through my journey. Sometimes I may not be able to give you content that you expect, basic routine stuff. However, if I'm able to do fun stuff, I would bring you guys along with me. If you have some video or topic ideas that you guys would want me to talk about or vlog, make sure to leave it in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Thank you for staying tuned and subscribe to this channel until next time bye for now don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one have a lovely week bye guys